joined this evening on the talk back with Marjorie Hull talking a little bit about the second annual fatherhood summit that's coming up next week we appreciate your time it is on September 14th tell people at home if they don't know anything about it what exactly this is our second annual fatherhood summit really is a call for fathers uh, one of the things that we are at children's services have been known to not be is not father friendly Okay, and you're trying to However, go the other direction. From yes, there. yes, we are changing that uh, so much and so that we're proud to say that, particularly as it relates to child welfare, uh, it does not happen. Uh, we are doing something in finding fathers that we are very proud to boast of uh, this year that we have reunified children. Uh, a third of our children are going with their fathers. That's great. And we're excited about that. And I guess the goal obviously would be 100%, but do you find it, is it difficult to find the dads or is it difficult to get dad involved sometimes? Well, sometimes it is, but because of our commitment to our children and families, uh, we work very hard at finding fathers and oftentimes we find them. Uh, they may be in prison, they just mm -hmm. may be isolated, they may have been detached from their own families, but we go to the length to really find our fathers and to get them connected and or reconnected with their children. In your experiences, why do you find that dad is not as involved sometimes? Well, there are various reasons. Um, he may have been in prison, mm -hmm. oftentimes uh, being unemployed and not having the means financially to support a child. Uh, as we've heard, really drives a father away from a f child as opposed to sometimes driving him to th that child. Okay, so they, it, it, I wonder, is that is that a pride thing more than anything else or is it more of financial means? Well, I, it's, I think it's a combination of both. Um, because we find a lot of fathers who will say, I don't have the money, but, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not going to let that stop me from being right. connected to right. my child. So right. I think it's a combination of things that may drive them away okay. or two. Okay, so the summit's coming up next week at the Conference and Learning Center at 7-Eleven Adams. What kind of dads are you looking for? What kind of information? What kind of resources are you going to have for them? Well, what they will find there are welcome arms. You know, we will be open to receiving any father. Uh, whether he is or has been or is just wanting to find his child. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to receive them with open arms and to really invite them. There will be a panel of fathers there. There will be some professional fathers as well who can talk with them about those issues that they face just by being not just a father but a parent yeah. because those are issues that are unique to parents mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes unique to fathers as well. Uh, but we are looking to provide information to them. All they have to do is just show up. Okay, yeah, and, and especially to dads out there that might be listening that might be afraid to come back into the fold, don't be afraid. The, the summit is completely is free? Yes, free yes. Charge? Okay. it's free and it is open to the public. However, we do want people to register. Yes, okay, you, you, know? Know, you want to call Children's Services or you can go to their website to find out that information. It's a very easy form to fill out completely free and the idea is to get kids back with their dads and 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 you say you have a good rate want to get that rate up continually yes. higher yeah yes we do and the only way dad can do that is if he gets involved right I mean, absolutely they, if you don't get involved they, you can try to seek him out but if they don't want to that's probably a huge problem for you yes yeah yes. All right, marjorie well we want to remind people that that is next tuesday september 14th from 10 until noon at the Lucas County Children's Services Conference and Learning Center at 7-Eleven Adams. Marjorie, we appreciate your time. Thanks very much. Thank you so very much. For joining us this evening. And that is your talk back.